Hi, um, I just wanted to make a short video to show the T flip flop I use. Um, it's a very fast T flip flop um, one, and one of the most um, compressed T flip flops I've found. Um, first, I'll show you how it functions. This is just a simple clock to keep it ticking away. Um, for reasons I'll explain later, this first one I don't use as a um, as part of my counter. Here you can see that it does count in binary, and that's just a bunch of T flip flops hooked up in series. I'm sorry I don't currently have single player commands, so it's going to be nighttime, and um, I'll have to sleep really quickly. The reason I don't use this first one in this example is because of the fact that when the signal turns off, the um, system changes to the next one. So you can see this this first one is blinking a bunch and not counting where the rest are just simply counting. Um, note that these torches are invert of the actual data position here. So to build one of these is really really simple. All you have to do is pop out one square here and then you go and place one piston there and one piston here. Place a single block, place blocks on top of that, place torches on either side, then you go and you run redstone up it and then when the current drops it'll change this is because of the re this is because of the relationship between the time it takes for these redstone to turn off and the behavior of pistons. Um, currently this works in 1.8.1 and may break at some point. Notch may consider this behavior a bug. Hopefully he doesn't because this allows us to do a lot with pistons. Um, what you do to receive your data output is simply attach a wire here. As you can see, the output turns on when the block is here and not when the block is there. This is because the torch underneath powers the block when it's over top. Clear blocks do not um, transmit power or um, don't receive it and transmit it out the sides. Sorry if I've repeated myself at all. I'm kind of sleepy at the moment. It's really late at night and I don't tend to go to sleep too well. And that's what I use in my um, binary transmission. Uh, I have a transmitter over there and a receiver over there. Um, currently it's not running. And this I found um, somewhere on the web. I can't remember where exactly so I don't know the exact source of who invented it. But it's very very handy and it's very compressed. Sorry about the long video.